Hey guys, this is Rez. So let's get into this layout thing. Before we get started, I just want to talk about the GUI that you're using, the Android Studio, and some of the information you should and should know, basically. Okay, so starting it out, beside you have this, by if you have this little window over here, just minimize it. You don't need to see it. Get as much room as you can because the better, well, the more you see, the better. Now on your left side, this is all the widgets, or you could say all your tools. These are little things like buttons, views, uh, text boxes, I don't know, whatever else you want to put in there. Just look through it. There's a lot of cool things, a lot of things you could mess around with. Now, secondly, at the bottom here, it's component tree. It's basically saying, hey, how is it layered? Or how's your XML? We're going to see this afterwards with the text, how it is. It's basically saying, hey, this component is inside this. So if you move this parent or the, let's say, the big box, which contains everything else, well, everything else inside of it is also going to move with it, right? We'll come back to it later on. Now you got the main screen. This is where your display is, right? So we're going to talk about display, and we're also going to talk about this kind of, uh, what would be the correct name for this, the blueprint? I don't know what they named it. Well, yeah, they named it blueprint. Now, if you're missing one or the other, you could go here. There's three icons that says, hey, show me only this, show me this, or show me both beside each other. If you have enough space, show both together. You'll see it's going to be a lot of convenience, especially if you look at the blueprint currently. I see here there's an edit text, but over here I can't really see it because it's a box where I need to input text to be able to see it, right? So, yeah, that would be great. Um, okay, so next thing. If we go back up here and we look at stuff, we got that, we got this, which allows us to change how it looks currently. So if we want to eventually work on the landscape, we switch it, we see a landscape mode. Notice everything looks completely different because it didn't change the layout to what it should be when it should be landscape. Um, you got a bunch of other stuff. If you want to be in a specific environment, right? Um, Anyway, you can play around with these. They're not so important. Now, going back to portrait mode, we go to the next button here. This is kind of saying, hey, which, which type of device are you currently building on? Or how would you like to design it on? Now, for now, it's fine if you pick a generic. I would say pick one that's really out there. Like here, the Nexus are pretty good, in my opinion, for that specific size. If you notice, the size is like 5.2. Eventually, we'll work on a way to make it adaptable to everything else. And sometimes, you will have to go and change these manually, one for one. What I mean by that? Well, let, let's try a few devices, how they look like. So we currently are in the Nexus 5, and it looks fine. The button's here, hello world's here, whatever. Let's go change that and go on another device. Let's say Nexus 1. See, now the button's bigger. The text is more showing. It's still kind of fine within... They expect. Let's go Pixel C. Well, this, sorry, is a tablet. Let's not do that. Let's go another phone. Nexus 10, let's say. Why? Oh, they're all tablets. I don't know them by heart. There we go. The Galaxy Nexus looks nice. Hmm. Which one would miss up? Sorry, I'm trying to figure this out. You know what? We'll have a better time when... Actually, let me try one of these phones. Let's try a small phone. Okay, well, anyway, if you notice, it looks really different, right? Currently, because I don't have much much of anything inside my layout, it's kind of fine with it. And it still is acceptable stuff, right? Because we don't see much. My button's still visible. My hello world's still visible. Eventually, we'll add more stuff and we'll retry this. And you'll see that things will eventually overlap each other or go outside the edges or something similar okay so anyway I'm gonna just bring this back on Nexus 5 the next part this is which kind of version right so the OS obviously there's some stuff that are not part of some OS's the future versions have some new components the older version have some older components sometimes they overlap like let's say in the newer version you would have still the old version but sometimes they get deprecated you won't have it so for so on 
So it's kind of good to have that minimum version selected. We talked about this in a pr prior vision. The next part is the app theme. Now the app theme, if you notice, um, there's a bunch of type of design, like the material is the current one, there's the old ones, the holo, and etc. You could try them out. There's nothing wrong with trying them out and see how it is. So if you look over here, I have my title, hello world, and so forth, so on. Let's go change app theme and say with, um, let's say no title bar. How does that look? Okay, let's just refresh to make sure if there's a problem. Well, there is a problem in this. We're missing that style, so we can't currently use it. So for so on, we'll play with that later. Let's try material should be there. Or actually, let's try dark action bar material. Okay, this still looks nice. Let's try another one. Material light. Let's see how that is. Okay, you see kind of the top is gone, right? This is great because sometimes depending... Well, you kind of want to make it into a specific theme or sometimes you want to have a customizable theme. It's great if you could switch it up and see how it looks like with these different designs. And obviously different OS's will have different stuff. So if we go on the older versions, it would have the holo. If we go dark action bar, this is how it would look like. It's still kind of similar, right? But it could be really different too, right? And you could also see, hey, how would it look like if I went on full screen at some point or if I went on this or that or etc. Right? So currently we're gonna go back on app theme and just leave it there. Eventually we'll modify. Again, language, if you wanted to do something with it, we'll come back and see this specifically. And the last thing is this, where we're gonna come back to it, but again, it's related to having different sizes, right? Now on the right side we have this pane called properties if you don't see it make sure you bring it up right it should be somewhere in the views tool windows or somewhere in there uh, there's a bunch of stuff these are really important right so maybe we should look for it but for now it's fine let's just move on we'll come back to it later on if we need to so if we select something so let's say this button here uh, I'm la lagging a bit so if we select our image button, you'll get a bunch of properties shown. Now with the latest Android Studio, the greatest part about it, it's going to show you the main properties that matters for people when they bring an image button. So it's a button. Obviously, we're going to have we're going to have the on click. You know what happens if it gets clicked? We're going to have the ID. That's for everything. Where is the image coming from? That would be the source and etc. Okay, the Remember, everything in here is objects, right? And all of these objects have properties and actions. And this this is like your attributes, your properties, whatever you want to call it. So every variable that defines this image button is currently being shown to you. Well, not all of them. The main ones are being shown to you. And if you want to see all the extra ones that might matter and might not matter, you just click on the view all properties, right? So now you got a lot of stuff that you might never use. Rotation, do this, do that, etc. Foreground, background, right? Again, there's a lot of things here you could do and make an amazing UI, okay? Make an amazing animation, make an amazing everything. However, as we're beginning, having fewer here is much better because... Sometimes we get tired of looking around and we don't find what we want. We kind of give up or go somewhere we shouldn't. So having this fewer and more reachable makes it makes your life easier and makes your life faster. So you could just go and do what you need. Okay. So this is all the stuff you need to know before we get started on the UIs and the UX designs and everything else. Cheers. This is Reza. Please subscribe, like me, and maybe comment somewhere. Cheers, guys.